He's got a hat. Right. Let's see the corpse first. Single stab wound. I expect to see a number of puncture wounds if the culprit had come here with the intention of murder. Ooh. A result of the confrontation with Monsieur Demir. Although only one punch was thrown, there's substantial bruising to his face. I use all my deductive skill and experience here. Besides the stab wound, there is little to go on from his body. New mind map. I was brought here to find the blackmailer, but discovering the truth behind the major's death must take precedence. And is probably connected? I think it's probably... I can probably say. Quite severe, such a shame to see such a beautifully made carpet ruined. There is a letter here. I noticed stuff down the side of the seat. You do not know me, but I know you and your past very well. Years have passed, and your actions remain hidden to the world. Actions that would shame even the evilest of men. The details so heinous to include them would surely bring a tear to my eye. Now is the time for the truth to be revealed to all. While not one man is to blame for the final outcome, it was you that brought about the final piece of the puzzle. The one that no one else would. If you wish to remain a free man, fill a brown paper parcel with 5,000 francs addressed to Monsieur Dupont, to Barbier and Sons Cobbler before closing this coming Wednesday. He's also being blackmailed. Another blackmail letter written in a similar ma manner to the ones addressed to Mademoiselle Angeline. Could the Major be hiding a secret of his own? Or is he in fact the author of the letters? Alright. The window. Huh. Snow continues to bellow in. Why this window has been left open, I cannot fathom. Oh, so it look Well, either it's with the way they escaped, or it's to make it look like someone escaped. Like someone left. Oh, wallet. Oh. Does not look as though anything is obviously missing from it. I mean, whose is it? Is it the mages? Safe. Bulky safe made with security in mind. It's locked tight, but a box of valuables sits on top. Which were not taken. So this isn't a robbery gone wrong. Uh alright. Determine what happened prior to the major's murder. Um Right, second. Second floor window. Right, the jewelry box and the sum of money. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. The obvious items of value have not been taken. Why would the killer not take a reward? Uh, valuables not taken. Safe Loctite. This would not get me any closer. To Just thinking they're in a line. Right, second floor window. Things are beginning to become clearer. Are they? If someone had gone to the lengths of scaling the wall, they surely would have taken some valuables. Yes, not a simple burglary, but you get that from this. You don't need to do that one. Right, and then you've got to investigate the blackmail, which is still working. I confirm the window is not the intruder's point of entry. Guys, tell me not to check the door first upon arrival. Can I now check the door? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, door to the major's bedroom. Huh. The door shows no sign of forced entry or tampering. Could they just have knocked and been allowed to enter? Damp floor. Oh. Thought I messed over that. Ooh. What could have caused such a large damp patch on the floor? Is it maybe blood? It looks red. It could be blood. No, nothing. No deductions to make. I believe... Ooh, dent in the plaster. Surprising that it has been left visible. Surely it would be a quick and easy f fix to paint over it. Nope. Can't ask Archibald about any more. Anything I can do to help, detective? Nope. Your help and discretion. What about this one? No, I thought maybe the blackmail would have been. We've looked at that, we've looked at the burnt carpet, we've looked at the wallet. Ah, ice oh ice bucket. I would have a bucket in this size this size for such a minute amount of water. And none of this is interactable. Okay, so the bucket. Remaining ice cubes. Oh the damp floor. Magnifique. 
Someone has knocked over the ice bucket and then repositioned it. Someone besides the major? Bucket was un was overturned. No. Unrepaired dent in plaster. Things are beginning to become clearer. There are signs that something occurred in the study between the major and our unknown fugitive. Evidence of a fight. Single stab wound. I must act on thought at the bruise. Is there something I am not seeing? Evidence of fight and the entry point. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. Evidence shows that a fight of sorts broke out some time after the killer entered the room unobstructed. The door from the bedroom to the study was how the perpetrator entered the room, but what I still do not know is where they invited in or did they slip in unknown. Okay. I I thought we were going to use that to work out things. Okay, we'll get another mind map for what actually happened then. Anything I can do to help, detective? Has anyone else entered this room this evening? Rehana brought him some ice for his cheek earlier. And when was that? When he returned from his cigar outside, he asked for something to be brought upstairs to ease the swelling of his face. Right. He would normally smoke only in here. Lady Van Den Bosch doesn't like the smell of his cigars in the public rooms. Madame continues to rule a home how she sees, sees, sees fit, and it is her prerogative. Not when you're relying on people's Your money, I would say. discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. Now that I know that the Major is not alone, it is time to search the study for further, in further hopes of finding clues to who was with him. Didn't we already know that he wasn't alone? I think the kind of stab wound was kind of a big giveaway. Saying the crime has been investigated but does not show a straightforward series of events. The circumstances around the Major's cigar is one such avenue that requires further exploration. Nothing to explore from that. The Major's jacket. Scruffy looking jacket is hanging upon the coat rack. The major scabbard is in the pocket. What are you talking about, scabbard in the pocket? A reasonably full ashtray. I would have expected him to at least clean this out. The matchbox. Oh. No matches remain. Ooh, the desk. There we go. We finally get to interact with this. Ah. A rather organized desk containing what looks like important documents. Okay, we can't look at the important documents because they're not that important, apparently. Right, anything? Oh, we've got three connections we can make. Uh, the half-smoked cigar and the burn mark. What a revelation! The Major was smoking recently, unsurprisingly, and dropped his cigar. What could have lit the cigar? The matches. Uh, let her open it in a single stab wound. Come, my little grey cells. We must think logically. I mean, that is possible. Oh, there's a missing knife, which is a single stab wound. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. The major's knife is missing. Its body lies with a stab wound. It could very well be the murder weapon. Um, right. Ring of dust at the ashtray. Right, evidence is smoking with the empty matchbox. Order and method. That is the way to solve the problem. Right, okay. Um. Bucket was overturned. No. Killer's entry was unobstructed. No. Well used ashtray and evidence of smoking. Come, my little grey cells. Okay. Uh, very tidy desk. I don't think it connects to anything. Unless you want to connect it to the bucket. Another success. I never doubted myself. This crime scene has been tampered with. The killer clearly had enough time to cover... Oh, cover their tracks. Something there. Crime scene was compromised. Oh, the Okay, there aren't any more. So is there something more to investigate here? Oh, the fireplace. Huh. It's incredibly dirty. The logs are old and covered in dust. Fine. No. Oh, poker stand. A normal looking poker stand. Nothing appears out of the ordinary. But is anything out of place?
black metal letter we've already looked at. Yes, yeah, so that's been knocked over. We can't look at the hat. Ooh, even more things. Um, poker stand, clean and very tidy. I must act on thought. Clean and the crime scene compromised? The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. There is currently no way to rule out the poker being the murder weapon. The poker was cleaned. And it's sharp. I cannot see the logic in this. Right, Moldy logs. With a ring of dust? Magnifique. I would have expected a major to keep his belongings in a much tidier fashion. Just talk to Archibald. Okay. That's it. No more connections to make there. Archibald. Anything I can do to help, Detective? Uh, for a house that has such high standards, there's a noticeable lack of care taken here. As I said, Mr. Hagen did not allow the staff in here alone, besides me. He was very clear on that. Have the staff ever given him reason to not trust them? Nothing has ever been brought to my attention, but he was very clear no one was to be in here without his permission. I suppose it is not unreasonable. I would have thought with his military past he would have kept it immaculate with not a speck of dust or hair out of place. But the fireplace, for instance, says otherwise. I haven't seen it lit since he has been with us. Even in the colder months, it's been in this state for some time. Right, okay. Your help and discretion in this matter are greatly appreciated. Right, okay, so what Archibald said... Fireplace was unused. Oh, that's the only new bit of information. Which I think probably tears up with the matchbox. What a revelation! Being empty. There are no items that could start a fire or light a cigar. But there's been but there's oh, but there's evidence of smoking. Another success. I never doubted myself. There remains no means to light a cigar. Someone must have lit it for him, someone he trusted, but who? Well, Someone who came into the room, um, who was allowed in. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Someone lit his cigar for him and attacked him when he least expected it. Who could have been so ruthless? Major knew their killer. Which has to be the thing we connect to. Crime, is someone who compromised the crime scene? Things are beginning to become clearer. They lit the major cigar and followed the brutal act of murder, took the time to clean the scene. They were not in a hurry and could still be in the house. How could they remain so calm? The murder weapon remains a mystery. The killer, whose identity is still to be uncovered, must still reside in the house. Okay. We don't have any new information on blackmail. Talk to Archibald. Come a little grey cells, let us solve this mystery. Oh, wait. What? I was not expecting to have a murder case on my hands when I arrived, but this will merely be another test for the great detective puffle. Okay. I am slightly annoyed that it's like, it's constantly like, oh, we need to work out this thing. Which is fine, but it's like, we don't need all these things. Jumping around. Anything I can do to help detective. Apparently there's something. I believe I've collected all the necessary information and evidence. I would n now like to inspect his adjoining bedroom. As you wish. Okay, so we're just working. So we can't move around in different rooms. It's clear the reason for entering the major study was not to make haste with valuables. What I must understand is if the intent for murder was there. The study's been manipulated following the major's death, meaning they had time to return to the scene and attempt to cover their tracks. The perpetrator entered through the bedroom. Perhaps there is something they failed to clean up behind them that could make sense for all this. I should review what clues the study yielded before I should continue. Okay, oh my goodness. If the killer still resides in the house, I must approach everyone with not only caution, but suspicion. Right, okay, so there's nothing new there. Okay, so we've not got any bits of information. Another letter addressed to the Major. It appears he has someone looking out for his business concerns. Would the workers strike? Felix, I understand there are a number of business concerns for you in the situation that has arisen within the factories, but I offer this piece of advice. Step back. Monsieur Becker's efforts, Monsieur Becker's 
efforts, the Union have finally opened the workers' eyes and they seek and they demand the fair treatment they deserve for so long. The fuel for the fire has already been laid and the match is ready to be struck. You do not want to be near those flames when they at night. I know you were once a good, honourable man. I pray that this is still true today. Show the information I've gathered from each guest today. There may be something that will help reveal the identity of the letter's author. Okay, well... A note. A rather threatening letter has been penned addressed to Major F. Hagen. Dear Major F. Hagen, I did not think I'd ever find myself writing a letter such as this, but under the current circumstances I see no, see no other option. Madame Van den Bosch and I have been friends for more years than I care to say, that's why I can no longer sit back and allow your bullying to continue. I'm well aware of the companionship you have offered to my good friend over the years. It has been most generous, and without it, I care not to think what would have happened to her. But that does not give you the opportunity to act in such a foul and boorish manner. The day the Viscount passed, I promised that I would protect both Cassandra and Angeline, and it is a promise I will keep. You were once a major in the British Armed Forces, but not now, you French traitor. I don't know. <laughs> but your actions have mirrored that of drunken fools who hold no place in our society, let alone Madame's house. Please do not bother yourself with a response. There is not a question that requires an answer. This is not only a hope that you would see your errors and adjust them accordingly. The author speaks of bullying, and although no specifics noted, any form of that treatment towards a woman is not acceptable. Right, let's actually do this and work out who's said what. Right. Um, yes, you're close to Cassandra and you protect her. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Margot was quick to speak of her protection of Cassandra. She must take this role very seriously. So that's that one. Where's the other one? Oh, uh, no. The... Warning about upcoming strikes. Huh. I was thinking that would be Ernesto, but he said they were rocky relationships. Is it... Gideon is a support of the union, so Hugo's positive work is mentioned. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. The only other union supporter I know that is passionate enough to write such a letter, Monsieur Gideon. Yes, which is interesting. Okay. So many letters. The drawer. Is there anything there? Seems Madame van den Bosch's heart is a trophy worth fighting over. Major Hagen, I hope you'll excuse my bluntness and plain speaking, but that there is a matter regarding Madame van den Bosch that requires not only our attention, but a level of understanding and respect between us both. I'm fully aware of the help that you have offered to not only Madame, but her family and household. I'm also aware that you know of the assistance that I have given to Madame and the Viscount before her, so this is probably on Ernesto. We were friends and business partners, and I felt it my duty to continue to give and keep the Van den Bosch name at the standing that it, did, it has always been. Having said that, it is not always as simple to keep business and personal matters separate, and this is how I find myself today. Cassandra and I share a bond that one does not experience often in their lifetime. No doubt you have felt similar, but what may be lust to one man is love to another. While I respect you for your efforts in the war and the generosity of sh you have shown, madame, I must request you step back from what you consider to be your duties at the house and allow for madame to make her choice, the choice that I believe is obvious to all parties. I trust this correspondence remains for your eyes only, and a gentleman's agreement is enough to guarantee our arrangement. Rather bold move to challenge the major as they have, especially with his position at the house. 